Part two, how to design an entire roller coaster. Step one, create a new project. Step two, let's make a station. How? Create a geometric section, select it. Then go to add property, fix velocity. Add a keyframe at time zero and set it to three meters per second. Then extend duration to three seconds. Now double click the anchor port. Here you can change starting values like position and velocity. Now let's make it turn around. Click and drag the geometric section output and add a curve section. Increase arc to 180 degrees and set axis to negative one so it's slightly angled down. Now for the lift hill, add another curved section with an arc of 30 and an axis of 90 so it slopes up and add a fixed velocity property. Now add another geometric section with fixed velocity and extend duration as long as you want. I'll go with 10 seconds. Now for the top of the lift hill, add another curved section with fixed velocity, an arc of 30 and an axis of negative 90. So it slopes back down. Now for the fun part, the actual roller coaster. Add a force section. Create a normal force keyframe at time zero. Right click, then go to reset to previous for a perfect continuous curve. Now create another keyframe at 1.5 seconds. Set it to zero. This creates a feeling of weightlessness when going down the drop. Now add another keyframe a bit later with a force of 3.5 G's for a feeling of being pushed down. Click the curve view button to see this better. Now add some airtime hills by going back and forth between 0 G's for the peaks and 3.5 G's for the valleys. This will take some getting used to. You can hold shift when moving keyframes to only move them horizontally or vertically. Now for the turnaround. Near the bottom of the second hill, create three normal force keyframes and three roll speed keyframes spaced evenly apart. Then adjust the middle keyframes until you get a perfect turn. Then to pull out of the turn, copy and paste these keyframes but roll the other direction. There's a problem. Press F3 to open stats. After the turn, roll isn't exactly zero. To fix this, you could adjust this keyframe until it's as close as possible. But this is tedious. To automate this, use the optimizer. Place the playhead after the turn, then right click the keyframe. Optimize roll. Press start. This will optimize the keyframe value until the roll at the playhead is exactly zero degrees. Perfect. I'll keep adjusting these curves and using the optimizer to line it up perfectly with the station. Now make some more hills and return to the station. To make a perfect continuous circuit, create a bridge node. A what? Right click. More. Bridge node. Connect the output of the force section to the first input, then copy and paste the anchor at the very beginning and connect it to the second input. This will bridge these two points, creating a continuous circuit. Wow. We're done. Can I export this to No Limits? Yes. Go to File. Export. No Limits 2. This will create an element file that you can import in No Limits 2. This only includes the track shape. You need to configure the rest in No Limits. Let's write it.